Hello, there is yet more rain in our forecast for the week ahead, but wet weather will not be our only concern. There's some windy weather on the way as well. The Met Office has now named a storm, Storm Kieran, expected to affect the UK through Wednesday night into Thursday. Damaging winds for some and heavy rain for many of us. Rain that we do not need. Parts of eastern England, Watersham in Suffolk, have already recorded more than three times the rainfall they would normally expect in the month of October. There are some exceptions. Parts of southern Scotland's northwest England have been drier than normal, but many of us, as you can see from our rainfall accumulation chart, can expect a lot of wet weather through the next five days. There may be further flooding. So no surprise that low pressure remains in charge of our weather for Monday, but that low tending to weaken just a little bit, so it won't be as windy as it has been. Many parts of Scotland should actually be dry, just a few showers around. Northern Ireland seeing some quite hefty showers. England and Wales seeing some heavy showers as well, albeit with some sunny spells. And temperatures north to south, 8 to 15 degrees. Those temperatures won't change very much, actually, through the coming days. And then through Monday night into Tuesday, we'll see bands of showers pushing northwards and eastwards, some heavy, thundery ones. Scotland on Tuesday, again, should be largely dry. But down towards the southwest of England, a band of heavy and possibly thundery rain will push its way in by the end of the day. That is our next frontal system, that one driving its way northwards and eastwards as we move through Tuesday nights into Wednesday. Heavy rain with that, some snow briefly over high ground in northern Scotland. That will tend to turn back to rain as milder air works in. Strong winds for parts of Wales, southwest England and also in the north of Scotland. And temperature wise, 8 to 15 degrees once again. But let's take a look at the jet stream through the middle of the week because the jet stream the winds high up in the atmosphere expected to be blowing strongly across the Atlantic. In the core of this jet, high in the atmosphere, we could well see wind speeds of 230 miles per hour. A lot of energy to spin up this area of low pressure. And this is what has been named by the Met Office Storm Kieran. Now at this range, the exact position of that area of low pressure may change. This is still a few days away. But we are expecting a lot of rain and particularly in the south of Wales and the south of England, some very strong winds. Inland wind gusts of 50 to 60 miles per hour. It may be that if this forecast comes off, if this area of low pressure develops as expected, we could see gusts of 80 to 90 miles per hour in exposed coastal parts in the south. Those sorts of winds likely to cause damage and significant disruption. So we will be keeping a very close eye on this one, we will keep you up to date as we firm up on the details. Low pressure still with us on Friday, tending to weaken a little. The winds easing, those winds starting to come down from the north, so it may just feel a little bit cooler. There will still be some showers around. So do things settle down into next weekend? Well, not really. It looks like we'll see another low pushing in from the Atlantic, more outbreaks of rain, more strong winds, and on the back edge of that, a northerly wind, which could well turn things a little bit colder into the start of the following week. So next weekend, the start of the following week, looking rather unsettled. But in the shorter term, Wednesday night into Thursday, Storm Kieran could cause some significant problems.